Welcome back folks, my name's Anthony Valentine the Camper Nerd. Good news, I think we've finally resolved, me and my grandson, we've finally resolved the wind noise on these videos I've been making. For many years I've struggled, I've bought various microphones, wired, unwired, I've invested in a lovely gimbal, now the latest uh, wireless DJI microphone professional to match my DJI drone, Dennis, but we've still been struggling with the microphone. We got to the bottom and the root cause of it yesterday. It turns out it was an application issue. So we have been using filming on my iPhone 15 Pro Max. And it turns out the native Apple app, that's the app, the standard app in your phone, by default picks up the wind noise or the noise from the microphone from the phone in the gimbal as well as me on my microphone so i'm talking in here so having so many wind socks on this makes no difference because it was picking up the wind noise on the phone so we've downloaded a professional application into the phone and now it is only picking up off my microphone so we should have eradicated the wind noise i've had many keyboard warriors you know who you are moaning about me wind sock noise and i am not a professional filmmaker i supply motorhomes so it's took us a while to resolve but i think we've cracked it now okay yeah i'm going on holiday in a couple of days time i'm going over to cyprus for two weeks so i'll be out of action but i'll just show you around a couple of vehicles that have arrived and um say tell let you know about a few that will be arriving while i'm away and a few that are in the workshop and as always i'll be on whatsapp us self-unemployed people can't help ourselves so i'll be on i'll check into whatsapp a couple of day, times on the on the holiday feel free to whatsapp me over the next couple of weeks and if you want to pay a reservation deposit or be first in line for a particular model feel free i'll be able to ring you back at my time or at convenient time and we can work that out but i can function fully on whatsapp and send you some pictures individually of any particular camper vans you're interested in or even a mini video Okay, oh particularly, this has just uh, landed at Nerd HQ. I've been commissioned by the family, unfortunately due to a bereavement, the retirement plans were not going to go to plan, so this is, well, this would be easier to tell you what it's not got. This is a 2021 Bailey Autograph 3 81-6, 6 birth. Well, this is just, wow, this is fabulous. Look, even look at, it beats my Nerd V number plate. Look at this, what a registration number, and that belongs to it, my 71 bed. So we'll just go inside and have a quick look round. I'm not quite sure on an exact price yet, because I've been, as I say, commissioned with selling it. So we just want to get the family a fair price. Feel free to WhatsApp me, um, and I should have that information over the next couple of days. Well, just... This is, what a configuration. So this is at the rear. In fact, I'm gonna need a cup of tea for this uh, long video. This has got the U-shaped lounge. These will pull together and create a large double bed. And it wants for nothing. It's got remote controls for the TV, mood lighting. Instructions, we've got even up there, we've got twin solar battery charger by Truma, TV. Uh, what else have we got? I might need my script. Normally I don't need a script on these videos, but I've got that much to go through. Um, yeah, at the front we've got twin captain swivel seats, six speed diesel, power steering of course, electric everything, air conditioning, satellite, cameras. And so you can see the side dinette here. It's got four three point seat belts. Um, the bathroom is even posher than my own one at home. I'll just quick see if we can pop in with the camera. It's got a lovely wet room. Latest toilet and shower. Microwavey, as uh, sometimes it's called. Gas, oven, hobs. And look at this. So this has got, this will be made up into a double bed there and you've got the double bed at the back. Or you can have a single bed here and press this magic button and hey presto, that drops all the way down and provides a fixed double bed. And that will obviously go back up again. Yeah, it's just absolutely fabulous. So I'll get more details on it. 
the last lady she bought it from the first owner so it's only had one former keeper and just done under 6,000 miles I think it's 5,900 miles what have we got here oh that one sold the Topaz automatic very desirable model oh I've got two Topazes that have arrived they're in the workshop at the moment so this is the T5 I've got two both 2001 so I've got a 2001 on a 51 plate off the top of my head, that's done about 106, 107,000 miles. So you've got the usual tow pass configuration, front seats, side sofa that comes into a double bed, and the rear, the tow pass is the long wheelbase, and at the back it has the wet room and the toilet. So I've got two of those in stock. They're both in the workshop now, getting ready while I'm away on holiday. One's a 51 plate with 107,000 miles approximately, and one's a 2001 wire edge. I think that's only had two owners. Last guy's had it 10 years, and that's only done, I think, just under 70,000, 60 odd thousand miles. They'll be at the circa 20,000 pound mark. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, Roma Home 2011 Roma Home High Low. Funny story, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had an 09 in stock and a 2011 in stock. A uh, customer rang me up from the Shetland Islands, as far north as I've supplied one. I think the furthest south I've delivered one to uh, Bordeaux, Bordeaux in France. I did that about five or six years ago. So yeah, customer, we got the vehicle ready. I watched up in the mini video and the habitation video. It turned out we'd got the wrong one ready. We'd got this one ready. So we quick pushed the 091 through the workshops, got that one ready. He took that back up to the Shetland Islands a couple of days ago. So this one is now all ready for the new owner. So it's had a full serviced uh, MOT, no advisories. We did a quick pre-check and there was just a little bit of surface corrosion on the rear exhaust box. So put new exhaust on, flew through. It's had the habitation service. So this is the uh, uh, 20 high low with the pop top. And if the camera could span round, this has got the lovely little Pullman configuration in so you've got the side table that moves up you can actually drop that down and have two side opposing sofas um, yeah and it just had the habitation pass and certificate last week so that's a 2011 I think she's done about 60,000 miles of service history and that's 21,000 uh, pounds what else have we got this one came in in part exchange a month ago we took it for a pre-check unfortunately it has got some dreaded uh, welding work that needs doing some some corrosion particularly underneath at the front now i've made a mini video of this of the corrosion so i'll be putting it on an ebay sale in the forthcoming when i come back from the holiday so in about three or four weeks time the camera can have a quick look inside it drives lovely i think it's the 2.5 diesel inside's lovely it drives well, there's no crunches, but unfortunately it is going to need some welding. I have not got the time or workshop space to get that done because if I use the workshop time and space that I could be getting another vehicle done. So I'll be putting it on an eBay auction from 99p for you to decide the price. Um, you're probably looking, if you took it into a professional welder, you're probably looking at two, two and a half thousand pound maybe tops obviously for it to be done professionally and properly but obviously it would be ideal if someone could if they're a welder and can do it themselves but obviously these are pushing towards ten thousand pound in immaculate condition and mot'd this is not in an immaculate condition so you will just have it on a no reserve auction and you can decide oh we've got two legends have just arrived one of my favorite ones so this is a ford transit auto sleeper it's got a private number plate this is a 99 so i think this is a t prefix i sold it to the last lady three or four years ago i think she's done 60 odd thousand miles or 70 69 thousand miles and one of the previous owners had all the upholstery changed so it's lovely inside it's the very large two berth with the large u-shaped lounge um, that'll be getting ready while I'm away on holiday and that'll be coming in at circa 18, 19,000 pound. I've also got exactly the same model, a 99T Reg that's only done 33,000 miles. Um, that's in the workshop just behind us now, having its service and getting ready and that will be having a habitation service, both of them while I'm away and again that'll be circa 18, 19,000 pound. So that's the two Autosleeper Legends. We've got two Autosleeper Topazes. 
what else have we got in? Um, oh, we've got a VW Holdsworth there. I think that's done about 90,000 miles. Last lady's had it a while. We had it MOT about three or four weeks ago. That's passed its MOT. I think there was just one minor advisory. That'll be going on an eBay auction when I come back in three to four weeks. That's a petrol. Uh, I bought this for myself last year. Guy imported it from Germany. Left hand drive, Westphalia. Very desirable in the VW community. Uh, I never got round to my plans of touring Europe in it, so that will be coming on sale in the forthcoming month. This baby, I put it on an eBay auction last week. Very much interest in it, immaculate inside. We got it all ready, timing belt service, MOT, brakes. We went right through it. The high bidder, I must admit it doesn't happen often. Uh, I'm quite surprised this doesn't happen more regularly, but highest bidder, bid. Uh, He's from Southern Ireland, the old boy. He did not realise, then went on to give the registration number to import it, and he didn't realise Southern Ireland, he will be subject to up to 45% import duty. So unfortunately, the sale couldn't go through. So what I'm going to do, that made £12,000 on an eBay auction. So I'm going to be, in about five days' time, I will relist that on a 10-day auction, and then that will end for when I come back. So that's why the sale did not go through. The fellow's not seen it. Genuine fella. I actually spoke to him a couple of months ago and it was the particular model he wanted, but he just didn't realise about the import duty. Uh, what else? We oh, there's a, an auto sleeper rambler. That's a rare one. So that basically, that came in about a month ago and I've never got round to doing anything with it. We'll process that in about a month's time. So many to get through. So that, folks, is basically an auto sleeper symbol but without the shower and rec room. So at the side at the back, it gives a bit more space here, so it's a great day van, um, but instead of having the shower room, it's just got a pull out toilet. I think it's a bit high on the owners, about 11 or 12 owners. You could probably guarantee it's probably two or three of those will be a dealer. But again, I'll be putting that on an eBay auction with no reserve and you will dictate the price after it's been checked out habitation and MOT wise. What else have we got? Oh, little Suzuki. Rome home. So I'll get that ready. We'll get that through the workshop when I return and that will be going again on an eBay auction. Lovely little design inside. That's a genuine Rome home with a 1.3 Suzuki chassis. Uh, this is one I've been using myself so I'll put this up for sale later in the year because I'm going to Germany for the Euros for the football. We're taking two camper vans. We're taking this one and the Mervy behind it. So this I took in part exchange about a month ago. It's the 2.8. This goes really well. Um, but I want to take this and the large six berth to Germany. So in about three or four months approximately, this will be coming up for sale. The only thing I'd say about it, mechanically it's fantastic. It's lovely inside, toilet, two berth but it's got some crazy graving all over the paintwork so we'll see what we're going to do about that um oh one of my favorites i picked this one up yesterday from the south coast i think i did just under 280 miles this is a vw auto sleeper gatcoom one of my favorites basically it's it's a twist on the clubman the clubman is exactly the same it's just the gatcoom was supposedly the upmarket version just a little bit more modern and a bit of a twist on the woodworking inside but it's just a clubman two berth 2.5 tdi diesel that'll be going through the workshops when i'm away and this will want for nothing this will have the full timing belt water pump full service habitation i've got some inside pictures of that so if you want to whatsapp me in the details it'll be on the waiting list or you can pay a reservation deposit these reservation deposits with me i will always refund them no one's ever been disappointed yet but as i say ask for a 500 pound reservation deposit that puts you at the top of the list and that particular vehicle i can get to the top of the list in the workshops and try and get it ready as soon as possible um this will be circa about 18 and a half 19 thousand pound i think it's a 2000 it's an extra so that makes it 2000 or 2001 it's done 82,000 miles and it's had three former keepers and inside it's blue beautiful drives lovely i drove it all the way back no rattles or shakes this is 
definitely a future classic. Not quite at the split screen and the bay window um, classic status at the moment, but it's definitely a future classic. The monocoque design, classic with the VW T4 2.5 TDI chassis. Yeah, that's going to be lovely. I think I uh, checked out yesterday and there's only two, in fact, there's only one for sale in the United Kingdom. So that's the second one only for sale. They don't come up that many times, the Gatcoombs, because the owners type tend to keep on to them. Uh, what else have we got? Just a quick edit there because the camera uh, ran out of battery. So we should hold out now. This is the last little section before my holidays. Did I mention I'm going on my holidays? Oh, I'm so excited. It's been such a busy year. Supplying vehicles, collecting vehicles. There's a lot more to this game and industry that people realise. They say, oh, yours are a bit one or two thousand pound more than a private sale. That may be the case. But we've got to service and habitation. That We've got to do pre-MOT checks there's a lot more that goes into it. Oh, some stories I've heard this year, and um, you might know who you are. I'm sorry that I'm going to uh, may upset you, but I had one guy ring me up a couple of weeks ago. I've been watching your videos. It was been my dream to buy an auto sleeper symbol. I can see the older ones a circa ten thousand pound from a dealer with all the warranties. So I managed to secure one a private sale for five thousand pound, but the engine wasn't right and wasn't running well. So he bought it. Wait for it. Months later, his current bill with the garage is £4,800 and now they've said the head gasket's gone. So he's now nearly up to £10,000. He's got no warranty, no guarantee. So that's why this industry, uh, it takes a time and there is a premium to do this job properly. So again, if you pay a deposit, you can't just have the vehicle and roll up tomorrow and collect it. There's a two or three week backlog of workshop time and space it's got to go for servicing, MOTs, pre-checks, habitation. There's a lot more to this than meets the eye. Yeah, so, oh, there's two more auto sleeper tridents due. Uh, I think one's gonna be arriving when I'm on holiday and one will be arriving the first week back. So they're both 2001s. I think they're both on the wire edge. One's done 120,000 miles and one's done about 70,000 miles. So they'll be priced accordingly or feel free to WhatsApp me and I'll be able to give you further details as they come in. Uh, there's also on the top of my head a 2002 auto sleeper due while I'm away. I'm not quite sure which shape that will be, so on 2002, we're right on this changeover, so it'll be the Mark 1, last of the old, or first of the new, so I can let you know about that in about a week's time, feel free to WhatsApp me. Just one more thing before I go, uh, my YouTube channels, I don't know, I, I've ended up with two YouTube channels, so we've got Camper Nerd, and we've got Anthony Valentine, I suppose in my head a couple of years ago, I wanted to just keep the Camper Nerd YouTube channel, to grow organically with three advice and Anthony Valentine with just the selling videos of the eBay auctions and any vehicles that come into stock. I've just been that busy, I suppose I've let myself slip and the Anthony, uh, the Camper Nerd channel has not been being updated. So this particular video will be uploaded to Camper Nerd as well as Anthony Valentine YouTube channels and on my return all future videos will be on Camper Nerd. So if you're a subscriber to Anthony Valentine, I suggest you go jump over and subscribe to Camper Nerd. Perhaps you've subscribed to both anyway. But for the next couple of videos, I'll upload to both channels, but I'm phasing out Anthony Valentine and we'll just keep it simple, folks. And we'll just have Camper Nerd YouTube channel going forward. As I say, if you click link and subscribe and put the bells and whistles on and notified you'll be notified instantly of the new videos coming forward and i'll do a mashup of some advice as well as showing you the vehicles in stock okay i think that's it folks i'm gonna have my well-deserved holiday even if i do so say myself uh, i'll come back refreshed ready for the summer demand and i'll catch you on that next video folks